Right, hello guys, this is David Hell, and I'm doing another tutorial for my website unrealmaster.com um, Today I'm going to show you how to do simple triggers and uh, a moving platform in UDK So, to start off, I've got UDK open and uh, as you can see I've got my level here so, there's um, a few things we'll need, obviously. First thing we'll need is a trigger. So, what I'm going to use for my trigger, um, well, to represent my trigger to the player, I'm going to use this uh, trigger static mesh that I've made. And the platforms I'm going to be using are uh, these two different platform models I've made as well. So, starting off, making a trigger. So, to start off, what I'll do is I'll show you how to make a trigger. So, um, by your static mesh, if you right click, and you go add actor, add trigger. Right, and we'll get our little trigger up here. So, we'll move this into place. You can see the uh, the green bar around it, that's um, more or less where it will trigger from. So that's like the radius that it can be triggered about. Um, so what I'll do in fact is I'm just going to expand it a bit. Because... Uh, So, next thing I want to do, you'll have to bear with me, I've not done this for a while. But, so, um, next thing we'll do, we'll open up Kismet. So you click the uh, K at the top of um, Unreal over here. This will open up Kismet for you. So, Kismet is where you do um, your programming in UDK. Um, it's a lot like a flowchart system um, so and it, it's really nice and easy to use so with the trigger selected and uh, Kismet open right click in Kismet and uh, you'll find there's an option called new event using the trigger zero so we're going to go new event using trigger zero and we're going to say used. So first thing to do though, we're also going to click on our trigger and down there in the properties bar you'll see it says aim to interact. If we untick that, this will mean um that you can be anywhere near the trigger in this green space and you'll be able to trigger it by uh, clicking it. If aim to interact is on, you have to be precise. You have to um, be really precise at clicking the trigger and 9 out of 10 times it's impossible to do. So that's just annoying for the player. So the next thing... Uh, we're going to do as well. Well, um, so okay, guys. Uh, what well, what I'm going to do uh, in this video, I'll show you a simple setup, and then I'll probably uh, I'll expand it in a, a later video. So we've got our trigger. So the next thing we need is. We, uh, we want our trigger to start the moving platforms, don't we? So, I've got my first platform on the floor here. I'm going to, um, go into its... I'm going to, uh, yeah. First off, though, it's just a normal static mesh at the moment. So I'm going to right-click, I'm going to go convert, and I'm going to convert it to a mover. 
in the uh, wireframe views you'll be able to see that it's a mover now because uh, it's turned pink rather than the usual green so with the platform selected um, we're going to go over into Kismet we're going to right click go new matinee it's near the top right so I'm going to um, double click the matinee we've just created and this opens up the matinee uh, window I'm going to just uh, drag this a bit, there we are so matinee is um, well, it's kind of how you control cameras and uh, moving objects and things in UDK uh, it's very powerful, very easy to use. Uh, it, it might be a bit daunting at first, but you'll grow to love it for sure. So, um, with our static mesh, uh, well, our moving platform selected, going to go over into grey box in matinee, and we're going to right click, and I want you to say new empty group, just call it whatever you want. And uh, we're going to right click the new empty group and we're going to say add new movement track. So, um, the good thing about Kismet as well is it uses keyframes to animate things. Uh, so, this makes it much, much easier for us as well. So, I want my platform to trigger, but um, what I'm going to have, I'm going to have all these platforms throughout the room moving, uh, so that you have to eventually come up to get this crystal at the top. So um, during playtesting though, uh, like trialling this, I, I've refined how I want the platforms to move, I, I know more or less everything about it. Um, the only thing we have to do though, um, if we start it moving right off, the player won't have time to get on the platform. So what I'm going to do, over in Kismet, with the movement track selected, and with our uh, platform selected, I'm going to press enter, and that adds a keyframe. So that's added a keyframe at the very start of our animation. I'll drag uh, this bar over to one, the slider over to one second in this timeline. I'll uh, click enter again, and that adds another keyframe. So what this will mean is that um, from zero seconds to one, our platform will stay exactly where it is. Now, actually, thinking about it, I might want the platform to stay a little longer. So what I'll do, I'll hold down control, I'll click on the keyframe, and I'll drag it to uh, 1.5. So, Then what I want to do, well, I want the platform to move, I want the platform to be moving for about, for about 3 seconds. So at 3.5, I'm going to press enter. Um, and then over in the uh, 3D viewport, what we're going to do, if you uh, drag your platform up, up to where you want it to go, so I want mine to go about there, and let go, and you'll see what's happened is you've got this yellow line up here now. Um, so that's showing the movement track of the object. So what I'm also going to do, back over in the matinee, I'm just going to drag it along a bit, and 
and uh, it doesn't have to stay there for that long. So 4.5, I'll just add another keyframe as well. So now if you drag your slider all the way back to the start, you can play the um, matinee. So you can see our platform will stay. It'll raise, it's probably rising a bit quickly. So I'll uh, change that to be a bit slower, just quickly. So scroll wheel to zoom out in Kismet. Um, in matinee, sorry. Uh, no, so what I'll do, I'll just move the uh, move the start keyframe back to one, and I'll move this end one over to four. So there we are. So that that'll fix that. So the platform, it moves slightly slower now. It's probably more comfortable for a player. So we've got our movement done in matinee. So if we close this down now. So back in Kismet, you can see we've got our trigger and we've got our matinee. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to link in the trigger where it says used, I'm going to drag this black box and I'm going to link it to the play of our matinee. Now, is where things get, can get a bit confusing, so pay attention. So, <coughs> at the moment, when uh, you press the trigger, all this would do would it would raise the platform. Now that's all right if you only want that to happen once, but I don't. I want the platforms to carry on moving. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, in over the matinee section in Kismet, I'm going to take the completed tab and drag it to reverse. Next, I'm going to get the reverse tab and link it into play. So, what this will do is this will um, create a loop. This will loop the animation over and over again. So I'll close uh, Kismet. I'll build the scene. And um, let's give it a play test. Our trigger. <coughs> close enough there, guys. Press the trigger. There we go. The platform moves. Right. Well, uh, what I'll do, I'll end this video, but then um, I'll start a more advanced one as well. So there you are. That's how to get a simple trigger on a moving platform in UDK.